Hello! Hey guys, it's Rachel here and today I'm going to be filling for you guys part one of my Black Friday book haul slash graphic novel haul. First off, I just want to go ahead and uh, say I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, right now it's getting really dark really fast so I'm running out of time to film and I've already filmed today but I wanted to go ahead and film this anyways. Second thing, I wanted to show you guys first my really awesome cup that I got. Um, I am not a really big um, person likes to drink like hot things all the time, but I'm really into tea right now. And so I got this really cute, massive owl mug. It's got like a candy cane striped handle and it's got a cute owl on it and I super love this cup. I got it at Walmart. It was like three dollars. I, I totally love it. It's probably too big for me in terms of drinking um, because it only feels about right here in terms of tea but I really love this cup and it is super cute. So anyways, like I said, today I'm going to be filming for you guys my part one of my Black Friday book haul. There's going to be two parts to this. This is going to be my first part in books that I went and physically bought and a second part of books that I got from Book Outlet because they had a massive sales, 30% off, and you got a $5 extra gift card or a card, or $5 extra coupon to go with it. And um, so I decided to go ahead and make a couple pur purchases. Also with the second part of my book haul will be the one thing that I got from Amazon. There was a 30% off one book item and obviously if you're going to get a 30 percent off you're going to want to make a bigger purchase or buy something that you normally wouldn't purchase because it would be so expensive so i went ahead and made a purchase with that and i'm super duper excited about it so the first things first i'm going to show you guys the graphic novels that i got there is this massive comic book store that i've never been to and it's in a town that kind of about an hour away from me this comic book store is called madness and it is fantastic it's huge it's got tons and tons and tons of graphic novels tons and tons and tons of like single issues trades it's got everything it's got like little characters it's got it's got like everything in here shirts board games and whatnot and it's also like half of it is this like big thing where the magic the gathering have tournaments at and i don't play magic but there was a lot of people there that played magic and so i'm was really really like I felt like really at home in this place because the place was so freaking awesome. So they had for Black Friday a deal where it was buy two graphic novels get one free and so I naturally bought six and my husband wasn't so excited about it but you know what my husband built a completely new computer and so he really couldn't say anything to me about buying a couple of graphic novels so i did and so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this so the first set of graphic novels that i got um the first one's going to be the third volume of alex and ada by jonathan luna and sarah vaughn now this is the third and final installment of the alex and ada series that i've been following i really like the alex and ada series the um tones are like a cool they're cool toned um, with really nice black borders and really simple. Um, if you guys don't know what this follows, it's pretty much in a futuristic world where there have been created these um, like robots and there is this big moral thing going on on whether robots should have be sentient beings whether whether they should have like actual thoughts and feelings and not just be used and our main character um, is given a this robot for his birthday by his grandmother I really enjoy this one I know that I've heard a couple of mixed things about the third installment or the final installment but I want to go ahead and get it anyways because I've already invested my time in the first two and I want to go ahead and see what this one's about the second graphic novels that I are the two the next two graphic novels or trades that I got are going to be the second and third volume of Chew by Jonathan Lehman and Rob Guillory. Now I went ahead and picked up the second and third one just because I thought why not the second one. The second one is called International Flavor and the third one is called Just Desserts. So I'm probably going to inhale read these very soon. I'm super excited about them. And yeah, if you guys don't know what this graphic novel series is about, this follows um, a world in which chicken has been outlawed. It's a black market product because there was a massive avian flu that went through and killed a whole bunch of birds. So um, chicken is a black market product. And our main character is a detective and he is a seopath. So this means that when he eats something, he can see um, how it was made, how it was killed, whatnot. And if he eats a piece of human flesh, he is able to see their lives or how they were murdered or killed or whatever. 
I am super excited to get to this. I'm going to be inhale reading these very soon. The next three were kind of splurges for me, especially the next two that I'm going to show you guys. But I thought, you know, why two get one free? I might as well just go ahead and bite the bullet. So they are going to be the second and a third installments of Lock and Key by um, Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. These are the second and third installments of the Welcome to Lovecraft series. Um, as you guys know, I love, love, love Joe Hill. He's one of my favorite authors ever, and um, I really, really wanted to collect these in the hardcover editions because they are so beautiful, and plus I had the first one in hardcover. The second one, surprisingly, has a little uh, ribbon, a bookmark ribbon that the other two don't have, but yes, the second one is going to be called Head Games, and the third one is Crown of Shadows. Uh, like I said, these are the second and third volume. I have read the first one and I really enjoy it. If you guys don't know what these are about, this follows um, a family that suffers a huge tragedy at the beginning of the story and they move to this uh, house called Lovecraft. And Lovecraft is a really strange house. There's a lot of bad things that happen there. And so this is that story. Like I said, this is second and third volumes and I'm very excited to read them. And lastly, I went ahead and picked up the third bind up or the third book book of Why the Last Man book three and like this is the third so this is going to cover the I think fifth and sixth volumes of uh, Why the Last Man. I'm very excited to read this one. Um, like I said I'm going to have to fin read the first one over again and then read the second one to get to the third one but I'm excited to see where the story continues. If you guys don't know what this story follows, this, this follows a world where one day all anything that has in a Y chromosome is all killed so animals people, everything with uh, just dies except for our one main character and his pet monkey and they are kind of on the run because men are kind of hated so I am looking quite forward to reading these again and seeing how I feel. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the books that I have picked up. So the first book that I picked up is going to be if You Dare by A.R. Torrey. This is the third installment into the D Diana or Deanna Madison series by A.R. Torrey. This is her pen name, her real, um, her actual name is Alessandra Torrey, but A.R. Torrey is her pen name. And this is the third installment, um, the first book being The Girl in the 6E and the second book being Do Not Disturb. I inhale read those uh, several months ago and this one just came out on November 10th, I believe. This, like I said, is the third installment, so I am so excited to read this. If you guys don't know what the story is about, this follows a main character named Di Deanna. And she, when she's very young, she suffers a tragedy. And uh, because of this, she has this, like, um, I guess so she's predispositioned to want to murder people and because of this she locks herself in her apartment and she has everything sent to her and what she does for money is she is a cam girl so she performs sexual act online in front of a camera for people and she does very very well in this business. Um, then she begins talking to a man who is kind of being a little bit more realistic than she would like and she has to decide whether she is going to stay in her little bubble or she's going to step out to save somebody. It is so good. I love the first one. I love the second one and I'm assuming I'm going to love the third one. I am currently reading this one. I am about 20 pages into it but I am so excited to read it. The next book I have is going to be In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Now I know that of the people that I've heard have read this they didn't really enjoy it but I will justify buying it by the fact that I got it on Amazon in the marketplace for like $1.80 and that was shipping including so I had to go ahead and pick it up. It's in perfect condition as well. This I'm not 100% sure what this is about but I believe that this is a like a very dark psychological thriller and I love psychological thrillers. I know Max didn't really like it but I'm hoping that maybe I will. Like I said I don't really know what this is about but I'll let you know when I read it. The second to the last thing I picked up is going to be one that I've been really wanting to get for a while but I just for some reason I've been pushing myself back from getting it but it's okay because I have it now and that's going to be Rebel Springs by Morgan Rose. This is the second book in the Falling Kingdoms series by Morgan Rose. I really enjoyed the first one. I listened to it in an audiobook and I have been really wanting to read Rebel Springs but I wanted it in hardcover and every time like the four or five bookstores that I've gone to they only ever had Rebel Springs in paperback. They had 
Gathering Shadows in hardcover, but never Rebel Springs. So I finally was like, you know what, screw it. I'll go ahead and get it on Amazon. And I did. Like I said, this is the second um, installment of the Fallen Kingdom series. And honestly, it's really hard for me to describe what the first one is about or what the series is about. But the best that I can say, it's about four main characters, three warring kingdoms, and it is really really good i really enjoyed the characters i really enjoyed getting into the story and i've heard that the story really picks up in rebel springs so i am hoping for the best and then the final book that i have for you guys is going to be no surprise to anybody because everybody is hauling it right now but that's going to be harry potter and the sorcerer stones or the philosopher's stone wherever you are in the world the illustrated version by jim k by jk rowling this is obviously the massive beautiful um illustrated version of harry potter I'm going to be reading this one along with everybody for Harry Xmas to you. I'm very, very, very excited to get back into this world. And the artwork is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, you've got full page um, illustrations. And I don't think that, like, seeing this, like, on the computer on camera, like, really does justice. Just how beautiful this is. I am so excited to read it. You guys have no idea. And I can't wait to uh, read it with the everybody that's doing it, Harry Maximus to you. This was definitely a splurge buy for me, but I justified it because it's Harry Potter. So... Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part one of my Black Friday book haul. If you guys uh, have any interest in any of the books that I've read or that I mentioned, or if you've read any of the books that I've uh, mentioned, go ahead and let me know down below, and I will be filming the second part as soon as I get my order from Book Outlet. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. 